So now we're going to change lanes and talk about some of the possible effects of aging. Weight gain, loss of functionality, just the overall loss of strength. You'll often hear people say, yeah, I put on a couple extra pounds because I'm gaining weight, I'm getting older. That has nothing to do with it. What dictates these things is your level of activity and what you're eating on a regular basis. Now coming from a personal trainer background, I used to be really hard on people and use harsh words. But as I get older, my delivery is a little more friendlier. So here we have a car. Most of us get in and out of vehicles every day. When you find yourself, follow me, getting into your car and it becomes a borderline painful process to let's say lift your leg inside, you're grabbing your leg, you're lifting it. This is when we know that we have to strengthen our hip flexor muscles. Also, some people find themselves arriving to their location and sit for a moment and mentally prepare to exit the vehicle. Again, if you find yourself exiting your vehicle and you have to lift your leg out and lift the other one and it's just hard to get out of your car, you have to increase your level of fitness. So with every problem observed, there should be a solution that comes to follow. So I'm gonna give you a couple tips to help strengthen your hip flexors and just overall help you get into cars and out of cars. So here we have an exercise mat, which I purchased off Amazon. And yes, it's in the middle of a parking lot for demonstrative purposes. This particular exercise, we're using body weight only. This can be good for beginners or even experts if you add weight. You wanna stand at the edge of the mat, lower yourself down onto both knees. We're gonna do five reps each side, up on your left, up on your right, down on your left, down on your right, up on your left, up on your right, so on and so forth. Do the right side, stand at the edge of the mat, lower yourself both knees, up on your right, on your left, down on your right, down on your left, so on and so forth. You can start with five reps each side. If you can take more, do more. You can add a dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you have, gallon of water, whatever you have. So you can hold this upright, same thing, lower yourself to both knees, one foot followed by the other, so on and so forth. That's just one easy to do exercise at home that's definitely gonna help you with your lower body strength. And it's not limited to just getting in and out of a car. Getting up from a chair, um, I visit some people's homes, I sit in their couch and it's something I feel like I can't get out of. So anytime you're strengthening your lower body muscles, it's just gonna help you get up from wherever you're at. You can be, let me give you another example. You could be down here, Laying on the floor, playing with a, in my case, I have a grandson, playing with the grandkid. Now, now I gotta get up. But because I've been doing my exercises, I can get right up. Everyone has their own opinion, their own spiel on what health and fitness is. My take is, and it forever always will be, to be healthy is what you eat and your level of activity, AKA exercise. It cannot be said, Eating is most important. Eating is 80, 90% of the equation of health because how is what you eat gonna help you be functional and do real life activities? You have to pick things up, kids, groceries, shovel snow. What you eat is not going to absolutely help you with that. You need to exercise, keep your muscles up, keep your level of fitness up to tackle all the many different things that life throws at you. A healthy and fit body is 50% what you eat, and 50% exercise.